Here we have an SSD drive that came in for data recovery. This one is the Samsung Evo 860, 500 gigs. It was dropped off by Jonathan, and the drive belongs to Los Angeles County Metro, Metropolitan Transportation Authority. And I told Jonathan, I hope I can help you. It's a 50-50 chance. We do not know what's going on with the board. And if it's something I can help you with, I will do it. So let's take a look at the motherboard and see what's going on. And if we can figure out why they're not able to access any files. Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor. We have not done any sponsorships for the past three years. I used to do it in the past, but decided that I want to focus on the YouTube channel, growing the YouTube channel, and I want to focus on promoting our own e-commerce website. We have tons of emails every day, paid collaboration, paid reviews, sponsorships, whatever the case may be, and we ignored every single email we got from a lot of sponsors because we did not want to do any sponsorships for anybody. And I did promise a few sponsors that I've worked with in the past that once we start, we're going to contact you and we'll take it from there. The first sponsor I contacted and I've worked with that sponsor in the past is PCB Way. Why did I contact them in specific? They are so easy to work with. I cannot imagine how great they would be with their customer service if that's the way they are working with their advertiser, with us. Those are the type of sponsors I want to have on the channel. I do not want to haggle. I do not want to negotiate. Our prices are set and the prices are not cheap. So we can eliminate junkies. I do not want to have junk ads on our site. I want to have respectable companies advertise with us. We have 15 seconds sponsorship and we have 30 seconds sponsorship. Can you do 60 seconds? No. Can you do 90 seconds? No. Can you do a full video review? No. We'll pay you a lot of money? No. Either 15 seconds or 30 seconds and the prices are set. If you contact us for a sponsorship, we're going to look into your company. If it's something that we can sponsor, you can choose between 15 seconds or 30 seconds. I want a discount. We have packages for discounts. If you are buying more than one sponsorship, you can get a discount. So without wasting any time, let me introduce you to our sponsor. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen-based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication and much more. They offer quality, on-time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards start at $5 with 24 hours turnaround. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. And if we go under the microscope, We're going to quickly inspect the board. I'm looking for maybe discolored components, discolored capacitors, blown components, any signs of fault. And not much going on here. We only have a few SMD components, a lot of capacitors in this area. We have the controller chip, we have the memory chip. And if we flip the board, we have more caps on the back here. And not much going on. There's a limit on what we can do to recover data from this drive. Let's go ahead and plug it in. I plugged the drive in and I did not hear a tone. Wow, wow, the drive is burning hot from the very edge here. Just by feeling the board, heat, heat, come closer to the end here. Wow, I'm wearing gloves and burning hot. I do not know if heat is coming from back of the board or from front of the board. Heat was coming from this area right here, or it could be from this area right here. The drive is currently plugged in, and we're going to apply alcohol on this corner here, this area. And I'm not able to see a thing. Let's soak that swab with alcohol and go like this. So it's the chip. Look at the chip. Look at how alcohol is boiling up that chip. Is it possible that maybe one of the capacitors 
that we have on top is what's causing that chip to boil. I have no idea. Let's flip the board. We have more components on the back here. But if you look here, alcohol is not evaporating as quick as it was on that chip. Same here. Alcohol is lasting for a few seconds. But if we flip the board back here, I cannot even keep alcohol on that chip. Yeah, so I would say it's either this chip, ATB GN. I may be able to find a donor board, hopefully, but right now we want to know, is the problem the chip or is it the caps around the chip? Let's go ahead and measure the caps and see if we have a short circuit. And how are we going to measure the caps? Meter in diet mode. Let's measure from here to here. And we do not have a short. Let's measure from here to here. We do not have a short. Let's measure. Whoa, look at this. That short. Zero voltage drop. Let me go to ohms mode and measure the caps like this. Zero ohms. That's at that short. Zero ohm is that short. And we have zero ohm here. Wow. And this one looks like an inductor. It's not a cap. So right now, <laughs> good news. Right now, it's good news. Why? Because we know the problem is either the chip or the two caps. We're going to assume the controller chip is good. We're going to assume the NAND chips are good. And we're going to assume everything else on the board is good. I did not measure anything else. But right off the bat, I felt heat in this area. Applying some alcohol without even looking under the thermal camera, we can tell that the chip is boiling hot. What about the caps down here? We can measure them. No short, no short. Meter in diode mode, no short. And that's not a dead short because if we go to resistance mode, it's showing 0 0.1 voltage drop. And if we measure here, we have 84 ohms. 84 ohms is not a short. And if we measure here in ohms mode, 2.2 kilo ohms. And we have 2.4 kilo ohms. And we have 3.6 kilo ohms. So we do not have any issues here. And let's measure those two caps here in ohms mode 3.4 k meter in diode mode no short so if we go back here where should we start right now i want to focus on this area it could be that we have a faulty chip and we're going to have to locate this chip because i do not have one on hand we have a lot of ssd drives inside a lot of donor SSD drives. I'm going to have to open them and see if we can locate a similar chip. Or it could be that we have a faulty capacitor. Maybe this one, maybe that one, or both of them, or maybe all three components are bad. Who knows? Process of elimination. But the good news is we know where to look. We have a starting point. Let's start by desoldering. We can start with this one here. And we're going to put that cap right over the chip. And let's measure. Do we still have a short? If not, then the job is done. But it's never that easy. A lot of times it's that easy, but that's an SSD drive for LA County Metro. You think it's going to be that easy? Maybe. Who knows? Let's measure. No way. No way. Don't tell me the short is gone. Wow. Wow. Wow, 
The first component we removed, release the short. We no longer have a short. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I cannot believe it. The first component that we removed, release the short. Look at this. I'm going to measure from here to here. We need to flip the probes because it looks like ground is on the right side here. So measure from here to here. We no longer have a short. <laughs> I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it took us two minutes to figure out the fault. I don't know what to tell you. Now, one thing I want to do is measure this capacitor here just to confirm that the cap is bad. We're going to corner that capacitor right over here. Meter in continuity mode. And we're going to do this. Look at this. The cap is bad. So we just confirmed that the capacitor is bad. And it was a lucky guess because the first component I removed, removed the short. But right now, we need to try the SSD. Hi. Hello, how are you? Mm -hmm. All right, just a minute. So the short is gone, but not so fast. We still do not know if there's anything else wrong with the SSD. But I'm very optimistic. I'm very optimistic that by plugging this drive onto our computer, we're going to see the files. The drive is connected to this adapter here. And I do have a USB extension connected directly to my desktop. And are we going to hear a tone? Yes. Yes. And are we going to see any files? Yes. Yes. Awesome. Let me show you what's going on. You cannot see anything on my screen, but let me take you there. Right here. It's that third drive. I'm going to disconnect and reconnect it again. Disconnect. And we're going to reconnect. Awesome. Beautiful. Click on that drive. Make sure we can see files, and we can. A lot of files. Wow. Wow. Amazing. Disconnect. Awesome. We did it. We're going to call Jonathan to come and pick up tomorrow. They're going to be very happy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.